All right, everyone, and welcome back to the Don's channel. I am the Don Father, and this is hashtag AFL Table Talk. You're very welcome to today's show. Today's show is predictions, round 17 of, in 2019 on the AFL fixture list. And the big one on Friday night, it's Friday the 12th of July 2019, as I say, um, is between second place West Coast Eagles versus third place Collingwood. Um, I'll run you through the form. It's in the Optus Stadium in Perth. Um, the West Coast, the last five games, they've won four and they've lost one in there. So it's win, 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 lost one. And Collingwood lost, lost, won one, lost. So they've two out of five wins and West Coast um, with the four wins. Um, I'm predicting a West Coast Eagles win here. They're off the back of absolutely annihilating their fierce rivals, Fremantle, at the weekend in the RAC Derby 50. Um, they were absolutely sensational. Um, they've also got key players such as Nick Knapp back. He's been back now. This will be his third week. So many players turned up. Shuey, Shepard, um, as I said, Nick Knapp. Young Cameron came on. He looks like a star for the future. Scored, I think, four. Them really, really well. Um, as I say, loads of players to mention. If I never mentioned them, it's because I've got a lot of teams to get through. But anyway, you get the drift. They're very much a team in form. All their players are firing. Gaff, sorry, that was another one I was going to mention. Um, all their players seem to be firing and they're all ticking together. They play the 6-6-6 formation to suit Nick Nat, and it really does work. It is effective. Collingwood, of course, are going to be travelling from Melbourne all the way over the West Coast. I don't know if this journey is the best one for them yet because they probably need a pick-me-up um, from the last couple of weeks. I mean... They really haven't been going well. They were they were rattled off North Melbourne um, a couple of weeks ago. Then they got beat again in a kind of close fought battle with the Hawks. And obviously the week before that, they struggled to get over the line against the Bulldogs. But they did actually win that. So I don't think... I think this game's coming too soon for Collingwood. They do need to get a bit of confidence back up. They have got good players there that are capable of going and winning the game for them. I just think it's too soon, and that's why I'm going a West Coast Eagles win. So that's your Friday night game in Australia. Um, on to Saturday then, with five fixtures on Saturday. First one up is Sydney versus Carlton. Um, Sydney sit 14th in the ladder, Carlton are sitting 17th. Sydney are after losing at the weekend against the Bombers. Before that, they had a three-game winning streak and lost. So they've won three out of uh, five, and Carlton are very much lost, one, lost, one, lost. So their, their form is very, very inconsistent and all over the place. Um, if you were going by that um, way they're winning, win, lose, win, lose, win, lose, you would put Carlton down for the win. However, I'm not going to. Uh, I am going to put down Sydney for the win because I do think they're playing good stuff. The Bombers game wasn't a one-sided affair whatsoever. Um, I predict a Sydney win because Carlton... They're playing good stuff, but I think Sydney are just a little bit... Obviously, losing at the weekend, we say, oh, well, Sydney aren't that great themselves, but they actually have been playing a lot of good stuff too. They're at home in the SCG as well. I fancy them for the win, I really do. Um, but, one point to note, Patrick Cripps, I read, is back. He's a huge player for them, of course, the captain there as well. He is back and available. So if anybody can spur Carlton on and inspire a, a victory here away to Sydney, it's definitely that man. But anyway, Sydney won. Hawthorne Hawks versus Fremantle. I really struggled with this prediction. Uh, it's at the University of Tasmania Stadium. Bearing in mind that, that key point there, Fremantle are having to travel quite a distance. Um, the Hawks have won one out of five, right? They won the last game, obviously, against Collingwood. Um, and four losses before that. So their form has not been good whatsoever. And Fremantle have lost the last three, obviously, being hammered off the West Coast Eagles. So they'll be looking to respond um, and lift their fans after such a, I mean, a massive, let's face it, 91-point deficit they got beat by uh, against their fierce rivals. They're 13th place versus 11th place, so in the ladder there's not much between them. So they've lost three and won the two prior to that. That's the little form in the last five games. But I'm going for a home win for the Hawthorne Hawks. Not really home, it's in Tasmania, but they're the home club. Um, and they'll be more familiar with the, 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 the ground as well. Um, but 
I think Hawthorne's beat Collingwood, who are sitting quite high up in the ladder and they played them were second. They'll be they'll take a bit of inspiration for that, and I think um, obviously the Dockers three losses in a, a row is bound to be getting to them. They do need to bounce back. If there's going to be a game they need to bounce back, it's now um, to keep themselves in and around that top eight. But I think the Hawks are going to do it. I've got a funny feeling the Hawks are going to do it. So I've put them down for the win. Very tight games this week again. I mean, every game is quite difficult to predict in the AFL anyway. But this is tight. Next one. This is probably one of the tighter ones as well. Um, Essendon versus North Melbourne. Essendon are sitting ninth in the ladder. North Melbourne are sitting 10th. Uh, both teams play out of Melbourne. So there's no real massive... Home advantage in terms of the ground they're playing at. It's in the Marvel Stadium. The Bombers' uh, form going into it is one, four wins out of five. One, one, lost, one, one. And exactly the same for North Melbourne, one, one. But if you went further back from that, North Melbourne have the, the wins, the, the, the better quality amount of wins in form um, before, obviously, the last five games. So I can have a look at that out. So there you go. Anyway, both exactly on the same form going in, but North Melbourne, if you're looking further back, are on the best run of form. Uh, they, are a, they are a place behind in the ladder. Essendon are actually playing some good stuff right now. Uh, they're off the back of a good win there at the weekend against Sydney, which I didn't predict. I actually predicted a Sydney win there, so it surprised me. That would have been four straight wins for Sydney. So you can imagine, you can understand why I picked Sydney the first time going into that game. But Essendon are... They're doing it. They're getting. They're get. They're kind of quietly going about their business in the background. They're churning out results. They're not hammering anyone, but they're churning out results. On the other ha ha side of it, North Melbourne are actually hammering teams. They are getting big results. Rhys Shaw's got them feeling good. There's loads of players in that team that are firing right now, and uh, I I'm quite excited to watch this game. Uh, as I say, this is a difficult one. It's not really a coupon buster. It could go either way. It really could. Uh, I'm I'm picking North Melbourne for the win though, just because I think they've been playing. They've been more convincing in the way they've been winning. Um, the form does go for go back longer. The form is a little bit better than Essendon's. Um, so on that note, it's a North Melbourne win. So next game, Gold Coast. You know the drill. They've lost I think eleven straight now. Maybe twelve going after this weekend. So, last five games, five losses. Adelaide Crows are coming up. Ad, um, Gold Coast are 18th. Adelaide Crows are 8th. It's in the Metricon. It doesn't matter if it was played uh, on the moon or anywhere. The outcome is going to be the same. Adelaide Crows are going to win. Uh, they've lost the last two and won the three before that. So, they've won three out of five. The Crows, Gold Coast, are not going to win this game of footy. I'll be absolutely surprised if they did. I actually would be quite excited if they did. It would bust the coupon. It bust everybody's coupon. But I would be actually quite happy for 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 Gold Coast. I I do feel like I run them down too much. It's not their fault. They're not. I mean, it is what it is. We all know how the Gold Coast came about and being put into the AFL. Um, if you look into the history of it all, the team needs to find something to grind out a result. I hope they can do it. I don't see them doing it. We won't talk too much about it. The Crows got hammered against Port Adelaide at the weekend. They'll be looking to bounce back from an absolutely ferocious going over by Port Adelaide. A fierce derby, the showdown uh, in Adelaide. So I think they'll bounce back anyway. Uh, formalities here, they'll go through it. They need a convincing result. I think they'll get it. Uh, they have got players, the Crows, that can go out there and turn it on, scoring four and five goals in this game. I would, wouldn't be surprised if that happened for a couple of players getting four, maybe five goals. So, that's all of Saturdays. No, sorry, it's not all of Saturdays fixtures. I'm jumping the gun too quickly. Um, <laughs> we've got Geelong. First place Geelong, who are actually struggling to hold the top spot right now. They've let people back in. They could be sitting comfortably at the top here, but they've lost a couple of games of late. Their form going into it, they've won three out of five, lost one, lost, and then won the previous two. If you go further back, they will have won some more. But they're going to coming up against St Kilda, St Kilda, like, I'm going for a Geelong win. I'm not going to beat about the bush with this one. It's live from the GM, HBA Stadium in Geelong. So, <sighs> look, St Kilda, 
15th, lost, 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 won, lost. They did have a decent enough game against North Melbourne. They played some nice stuff. Player to mention was Bruce. Really enjoyed his performance. He made a lot of good marks. He kicked a lot of good goals. There's a couple of other players that I could mention. I'm not going to go into too much detail in this here. I think Geelong's going to do it. Um, and get another win back up for them. And maybe a boost in confidence for them there. It's tough at the top sometimes, isn't it? Everybody's chasing you. Geelong have stuttered since the bye week. They've lost two out of three since the bye. Um, I think it's now time to start showing your class again, Geelong, uh, and winning. And I've got no doubt this will be a win against St Kilda. But anything can happen in footy, can't it? Which I'm learning a lot about this sport. Teams on their day can beat each other. It's such an amazing sport for competitiveness. That's why you can't actually say Geelong are definitely going to beat St Kilda. I think they will. I'm quite confident they will. I can't say they're definitely going to win, of course. Anything can happen. That's the beauty of this sport. Anyway, that was the last game on Saturday. So we're going into Sunday now. Richmond versus Giants was another really difficult one to predict. Richmond's form. They're sitting sixth. Giants are sitting fifth. It's at the MCG. Richmond have got this sort of home ground advantage here. Um, they've won the last two, they lost the three before that. They're getting players coming back um, now from a period out. They look like they're... Look, the, the two teams they've beat, they've, they've done well in beating them. Uh, and as I said, they've lost three before that. Their form of the last couple of weeks is probably better than the Giants. But over the course of the last seven, eight weeks, the Giants were probably the better side. So... They've both won the same amount of games. Giants forms lost the last two, won, lost, won. So two out of five wins for both of them. Very tight in the ladder. Giants are sitting above them still. It is a really difficult one to predict this because I think Richmond are actually starting to, now that they're finding, now that players are coming back, they're finding a little inspir bit of inspiration now. They're, they're winning games. I think the Giants are going to do it though, don't ask me why, I just think there's not a lot between them, the Giants have got big game players that have been playing, they're up to match fitness, yes they've had a couple of poor weeks, I think they'll bounce back this week and they're going to beat Richmond, it was a difficult one to predict that so, it, as I say that one, I, 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 pick a straw, you pick, pick a name out of the hat, I don't know, I'm going with the Giants anyway. Western Bulldogs versus uh, the Demons. The Demons have actually been playing all right, but we'll get to it. Western Bulldogs are sitting 12th. The Demons are sitting 16th. It's at the Marvel Stadium. Home advantage, if you like. Kind of home advantage. It's not really. <laughs> They're both Melbourne teams. But um, Western Bulldogs have actually been playing good stuff. And they're starting to grind out a few results. They've won three out of five. The last two games have been victories. They've won one, lost one, lost. And Melbourne going into it as one, lost, one, lost, lost. Albeit, it was a bottom of the, the table clash between Carlton last week for the Demons. It was a difficult game to call. I think the Bulldogs have a little bit more quality throughout the team. They've got form on their side. I'm going with Western Bulldogs for this one. I think they'll do it. I think they're playing well. They're really battling. Even the game they lost in between the, their three wins against Collingwood, they really were unfortunate in that game. They needed to be slightly more clinical. I've mentioned it a few times now. That game against Collingwood, I think the Bulldogs lost that game down to themselves, the way they were on set shots, the way they played in front of goal. They kind of got... Goal fever, didn't they? Um, if they didn't have the goal fever, they would have they would have won that game. So it would have been four wins in a row. That's why I'm picking Western Bulldogs. I think they are probably going into this with a better run of form. I think they've got a little bit more quality throughout the squad as well. Although there is good players at Melbourne, big big game players that I like. I think the Bulldogs have a little bit more quality throughout the squad, and they'll do the job. Now on to the finale of the weekend. And it really is an exciting game. This I'm really excited because both teams are very, very enjoyable to watch. They've both got some young flair players that can turn it on and excite you. Uh, 
The form is with Brisbane. It's Port Adelaide versus Brisbane Lions. Port Adelaide are seventh. Brisbane Lions are fourth. It's at the Adelaide Oval. It really can go either way, this one. Power has a home advantage. They're off the back of a huge derby victory against the Crows. Their form is very much one lost, one lost, one lost, one lost and so forth. Um, but could they break the trend here and get two back-to-back -back wins? Who knows? They've got home advantage. They've got the confidence of the, the showdown trouncing of their fierce rivals. They'll get great confidence from that. I'm not sure on the situation with Travis Boak as the back spasm situation. I did want to look into that more and I've absolutely completely forgotten to have done this video. So apologies for that. If he comes back, that'll be a huge boost. Hopefully he's fit. Everybody wants to see the best players playing in a footy match. Um, Brisbane Lions, though, going to it in the best form. Three wins in a row, lost and won. So they've won four out of five. And on that note, Brisbane Lions are stepping up. They're beating teams in and around them in the ladder as well. So I'm back in Brisbane for this. A lot of Port supporters, friends of my channel now. I'm going to get to it now as well. And meant good, a special mention here on the prediction side of things. Um, I've got Port Adelaide people on Patreon. I've got a lot of really high-valued members of the channel that are Port Adelaide fans. So I'm actually going against them here with this prediction. Uh, and they do respect me for it. it. It is based on form and I am being as fair as possible. I am a neutral and I do try and pick this as fairly as possible and not based on who I like, dislike, who I enjoy watching or dislike. I, I, I'm doing my homework on it. Players who are on form currently, teams that are in form. I am doing a lot of homework into these predictions. It's not just me picking out a team because I like their Guernsey or I like the, the their name or whatever or I like an individual player. That's nonsense, you can't predict on that. As the predictions go on, they'll get even more intense uh, in terms of homework. Predictions are predictions, guys. They don't always come out. They're not guaranteed, but they're, they're an educated prediction. The bookies do it. Everybody does it. I'm trying to do it. But now, on to the note of the bookies. I did a live stream yesterday, and it was absolutely brilliant. It was the first live stream I've ever done where I've received super chat donations from um, subscribers. So it was, uh, again, guys, I really, really appreciate it. Um, Dylan, who's actually a, a guy who's already helped me out on this channel. I won't say why, but he has. He's also he, uh, just an absent, absolute gentleman. He has offered... He actually paid on the super chat as well. I want to mention that. He pinched, paid on, donated on the super chat for the channel to help the channel grow and get our channel to Australia for live games as soon as possible. That is the absolute pinnacle. The goal of this channel right now is to be able to do that. But he is actually going to pay a £5 donation to... It's not a, well, it's not a donation. He's putting a bet on for me on my predictions but the reason why I use the word donation, any winnings that he pays out of his personal money, any winnings that he makes on this prediction, he's putting towards the channel to help the channel get to Australia. So, honestly, mate, I thank you very much. He also looked over my predictions for me before. I, I, I've been speaking to him about the results. Of course, he's a Port Adelaide fan, so he... He's never going to go against his own side. He's always going to back his own team there, which he can respect. We'd all do the same. If it was our team, no matter what, we're always going to back them. That's why you don't usually put your own team in accumulators, but he's doing this for the channel, and he needs a shout-out for that. He's helped me a few, a couple of times now in the past with the donation and another thing, um, which, he, he, which I haven't mentioned on the channel anyway. But, as I say, massive respect to you, mate, and a huge thanks. I really do appreciate it. And that is my prediction. So just running through them quickly. The, the ones that I'm predicting for wins this weekend. West Coast. Sydney. The Hawks. North Melbourne. The Crows. Geelong. The Giants. The Bulldogs. And the Lions. So that is the winners for this weekend in my predictions. Let's hope they all come in for the channel and this will get the channel to Australia. It will help get the channel to Australia even quicker than anticipated. And 
So that's just it guys, thanks very much for watching the predictions anyway, I've got another video coming soon so if you can stay up, I appreciate I'm doing these videos slightly later, if you don't see it and you see it tomorrow that's all good, but uh, uh, I got kind of held up today on the video so I'm doing it a little bit later, I have got a bonus video coming in, I've received a gift for the channel from a friend of mine from Scotland, from Dunfermline, who's living in Perth for a, a right number of years now. Um, he sent me a gift. I want to open and show it to the channel. It is, it is, it is, sorry, look. This is AFL based gift. So I hope you enjoy it. Anyway, so I'm going to do it. It's going to be a short video and a shout out to him as well for sending a gift. Everybody who sends gifts will get shout outs and a personal message of thanks um, for doing so. But that's it anyway for the prediction um, show. Don't forget to subscribe, put the notifications bell on, check out all of our platforms beneath uh, social media, Ch follow us on social media, honestly, I'm getting back, I'm talking privately on social media accounts about AFL in the background as well, so follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, and check out our Patreon and the Just Given page, which is obviously now completely AFL themed, get in the Don Don's channel to AFL, if you just want to give a one-off donation, you can do that on our Just Given, it's all going to be in there too, so check them out. That's everything I've got for you guys. Thanks very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it. I'm loving the sport. I'm going to continuously pump out as many videos as possible, but quality videos as best I can make them for the sheer love of it. Thanks again. I am the Dawn Father. Peace everyone and goodbye.